because he stabbed his mother. What is up, YouTubers? It's your girl, Karami Jess, coming back at you with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be telling you the story of how I was forced to live with a felon as a teenager. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. When I was about 15, my dad met this woman. Let's call her Jennifer. Jennifer was nice enough at first. We didn't really get along for a lot of the time that she was dating my dad, but that's a whole other story time. Jennifer had two sons who did not live with her at the time that she m ended up moving into my house. Um, one of her sons was living with his dad in a different state and the other son was in a correctional facility. Although I asked a hundred times why he was in there, nobody wanted to tell me, which I thought was really weird, but I never had to meet him or never thought I was going to meet him. So I didn't really care that much. Fast forward maybe a year and a half, I was 16 and he was getting out for four days to come visit some family. I'm not exactly sure what it's called, I don't really remember, but I just know that he got out for four days and then he had to go back. And whoever was responsible for him in those four days had to sign paperwork saying that if he ran away or tried to like skip out on going back to the correctional facility, then um, they would be partly responsible or whatever, but anyways. In these four days, he came to stay at my house and of course I was really freaked out. I was 16, he was, I believe, early 20s, maybe like 23, but I'm not 100% sure. Like I said, I don't get along with him very well, so I didn't really care to ask questions. He stayed for four days, and during those four days, I felt extremely uncomfortable in my own home. Uh, he was always watching me, he was always standing behind me no matter what I was doing. If I was sitting on the couch, he was standing behind the couch. If I was in the kitchen cooking, he would come and stand behind me and look over my shoulders, see what I'm doing, just like really in my personal space and I really didn't like it and it just made me uncomfortable. Not to mention the fact that he just put out a really weird vibe. Like if I saw him on the street, I would probably cross to the other side and walk the other direction because like your boy's weird okay i don't know what else to say i don't know how else to describe it sometimes you just get a vibe from people and you just it's just a thing after those <clears throat> wow excuse me after those four days were over i didn't think much of it besides the fact that i really didn't like him and i didn't want to be around him anymore um he went back to the correctional facility and i thought that was the end of it but I was wrong. Eight or nine months later, my dad asked me one day, how would you feel about this boy moving into the house? I flat out said he made me uncomfortable. I do not want to live with him. Uh, he gives me like really weird feelings. Like I don't want to be around him. Like no, like I'm not comfortable living with him. And my dad said, well, you really, you just don't know anything about him. Like, you just don't know him. Like, you just have to get to know him. That's why you think that. Like, blah, blah, blah. And let him move in anyway. Like, why the fuck would you ask me if you were just going to do it anyways and discredit anything that I had to say to you? What the fuck? So here I was, 16, uh, living with one of my brothers, my dad, his girlfriend and her son from the correctional facility. Before he moved in, I finally did figure out uh, why. I was forced to live with a felon who stabbed his mother. So he moves in and I am furious about it. Him and I fight constantly all the time. Um, it was 
The creepy behavior just got worse and worse the longer he lived there. Um, he w I would go to the bathroom and he would stand outside the bathroom in the hallway. He used to also do that to uh, one of my brother's girlfriends at the time. He would stand outside the bathroom and he would like stand behind her like I said earlier. I remember one instance when I was sleeping and I always slept with my door shut after he moved in because I, uh -uh, I did not want to put myself in a situation where he could come into my room while I was sleeping, but he came into my room while I was sleeping and I heard my door open and I think that's what woke me up. And I kind of just like cracked my eyes open like a little bit, not enough for anyone to like see that my eyes were open. And I could see like him standing in the doorway of my bedroom and so I started to like move around and like pretend like I was waking up and he like shut my door super fast and I know for sure that it was him because I got up afterwards and I like went into the kitchen and I went into the living room and my brother was not home and my dad was not home his girlfriend was asleep and he was the only one there other than like my dad's girlfriend and it wasn't her so bitch was watching me while I was sleeping. What the fuck? Things got worse when him and his mom started to get into worse and worse fights every day. He didn't have a job or anything, so he would just lounge around the house and do nothing, play video games and watch TV or whatever all day. And uh, this didn't fly very well with anyone living in the house. They all wanted him to do chores. They wanted him to cook dinners give something to the household that was housing him for fucking months just so he could be creepy but you know that's fine i remember once they got in a fight while i wasn't home and he ended up hitting her or shoving her or something along those lines and i was furious but of course i couldn't do anything about it because i was only 17 at the time and what am i gonna do about it like him and I would get in screaming matches all the time over stupid petty shit because I was a teenager and I guess he had the mental capacity of a seven year old. Eventually I moved out of my dad's house because I could not stand living with this boy and his mom at that time because it was just too much, the stress was too much, it was not a safe household for me. So I ended up moving out, um, story time on that coming soon, but this boy ended up actually moving to the other state to live with his brother and his dad, not his dad, but his brother's dad. But now he's back and he's living in my dad's house again. <laughs> Isn't that just great? Yes. So, uh, Raceylin, I'm gonna say your name. If you're watching this, just know that I hate you and I hated living with you. Anyways, that is the story of what it was like living with a felon when I was a teenager. So yes, um, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and comment down below if you've ever had to live with somebody like this who was just all around a creepy person. Anyways, thanks for listening and I will talk at you later. Bye.